Now it's getting exciting. We take a look at the physics bricks of pocket code, which opens a bunch of new possibilities. With these bricks, we can make collisions or control an object with the force of gravity. Let's take a look at an easy example. We create a new object in the shape of a ball. This ball shall behave like a ball in the real world. If we let go of the ball, he should fall down to the ground. For this, we have to define the ball as a physical object. We can do this with the brick set motion type 2, bouncing with gravity. When we start our program, we notice that the ball is slowly falling down. To let the ball bounce off the edge, we need a forever loop and inside the loop the brick if on edge bounce. We now have a ball which is falling and bouncing when he touches the floor. This is happening really slow, but we can easily change it by altering the gravity. For this we need the brick Set gravity for all objects. If we change the y value to a higher value, the ball falls faster to the ground. What happens if we insert 0 for the y value and a value for the x? Exactly, then our force of gravity acts horizontally. We can also control the ball the way we want by using force of gravity. For this we just insert the values of the inclination sensors as values. Naturally, for it to work we have to put it in the forever loop, since we need to change the values constantly. Let's try it. Perfect! No matter how we hold our smartphone, the ball wants to fall to the ground. For amplification, multiply the values of the sensor. Keep in mind that the gravity brick alters all objects in your program. If we create a second physics object which has a motion type bouncing with gravity, then it's acting the same as the first one.